We're up here at the cabin. We just got the boxes for the cabinets. Um, I'm gonna build a base for them because the shape of the A-frame, we can't connect them to the wall like you usually do with Ikea cabinets. So I'm gonna have to build a custom base that will get screwed directly into the floor so that everything's really stable. Um, but right now, I'm gonna build the boxes, lay everything out, and then I'll take my measurements and I'll build the base for it back home where all my tools are. Um, so that I can just bring it up and screw it all in place. The first one always takes the longest. right here. Previous owners, they notched this out. And while this isn't load bearing for the roof, it is holding up this. So this is a no-no. So we're gonna re-bracket, like add a bracket through this to kind of shore that up. But now I've got this in my way. Good thing about IKEA cabinets, I can take this bar off and transfer it to the back. So and then I'll just cut out a little notch so this will be able to sit all the way back. Right here is the space for the dishwasher, which just barely misses this. That's by design, but also very uh, lucky. This is where the sink's gonna be. And we've got all these things measured out. So the sink perfectly centered under the window. Um, in order to do that, these cabinets over here, we have to pull them out a little bit. But the great thing about IKEA cabinets, we're working with a company called Semi Handmade, actually with our cabinet line. We're gonna get cabinet fronts as well as cover panels that cover the sides. And uh, like over on this side, We'll have a cover panel that goes all the way back. The countertops will go all the way back so it'll look still like custom built in, um, like everything fits really, really tight. Um, but this is perfect, and I'm really excited about that. you get the impression that this is easy, I only make it look that way. That's my job. got the bases built. I'm just gonna take all this stuff out of the way so I can fasten these into the floor first and then I'll lay each of those on top and connect them into the bases. I need a flat surface to go off of, like a surface that I know is straight. It's not how this place is built. <laughs> I can already tell that this wall, it's bowed. You can see here on that two and an eighth, two and an eighth right here, it's a two and a quarter. The flooring, I might have to use that as my line because the flooring is consistent all the way down. 
And so if I go from two and an eighth here, and then just make sure that I'm the same distance away from the flooring line, that should give us a straight line that I can then use a level or a straight edge with. Our floor is very uneven, and so I want to have the option of uh, leveling everything with shims, um, all of these countertops, because once you put the stone over top, everything has to be completely level all the way around, or else your stone's gonna snap, it's gonna crack. And so I'm using these brackets. First, I'm going to uh, screw them into the floor, and then those will be my guides. And then I can shim it, level it, and then screw it right into, into the brackets. That is perfectly level. So this is a good place to start for sure. I'll come down here and I have a long level that will uh, go across this whole stretch. Um, and we'll be able to make sure this is level with that. I'm gonna come off the front of this. This is where the range goes. The range is 30 inches wide. So I'm gonna make this gap, this hole about 30 and a quarter. When the cabin was originally built, the foundation wasn't all that great. They came through, redid all the foundation, but not before it had settled down the hill just a little bit. And so that's what we're dealing with. Over here, we may need to use some shims, but so far we're good. already see how much of a difference we've got from there to here. So to there, I expect even more of a difference. We're going to have to figure something out when we actually put the dishwasher in here so that there's not a half inch gap. crazy. So I'm not going to do any more of this today. I need to go home, cut some boards, bring them back tomorrow. This uh, one has been a giant pain in the rear, but that's okay. We're almost there. It's all but installed, just that sink one has to cut out the plumbing. And we have to decide on the cabinet color today. I think the gray, we won't have any issues with. Yeah, the light, even though I think the light will be the most popular one, um, it's just not right for our space and that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel good about the gray. <laughs> Cabinets are done, so now we just need to schedule somebody to come measure for the countertops. That's next. Cabinet fronts and all the fittings, the drawers and stuff on the inside. Um, we're getting those ordered today and then they will be here in a couple weeks. Um, those and the countertops will probably all go in about the same time. 